You alright guys, friend to all here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 favourite weapons to use in Warframe. Uh, this is just my personal favourites that I've come across in the game. Uh, it's not necessarily everybody's favourite weapons. If yours are different then that's okay. Uh, please share them in the comments section below. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, jump into it. So at number 5 I have gone with the Sonicor. Uh, I've gone with this weapon at number 5 because it was a close call between the Staticor and the Sonicor. Uh, the only reason the Sonicor kind of edged it was the ragdoll effect that it, it gives to any enemy uh, whether it be low level or high level. Um, it does come into uh, its own in the high level um, missions because even if you don't kill the the enemy, you're definitely going to knock it down. Um, I have a, I have done a build video for this weapon before. It's a strong as hell weapon. It's very fun to use, uh, depending on which way you want to build it. Whether you want to build it for blast or any of the elementals, but it, it is uh, really good with uh, the blast setup. Um, so yeah, I, I use it all the time, and it's just a must must have in your. Uh, Warframe weapon collection as you can see from the gameplay that I've got here. It's absolutely tearing through the Grenier um, Ragdolling them um, Etc um, and it deals out a ton of damage as well. It doesn't deal out as much damage as the static core, but um, It deals out enough damage and as and plus that with the ragdoll effect then you've got uh, a Really strong weapon. So, so that's number five guys. So at number four, guys, I've gone with the Vaker Murloc. Uh, the reason I've gone for the Vaker Murloc over uh, other weapons is the fact that it's a semi-automatic weapon, uh, and that kind of weapon is right up my street. Uh, I like the mechanics of it. Um, it's really fun to use. Uh, you feel like a like a gunslinger basically when you're using it. You've got to be accurate uh, when you get them headshots. Like really re rewarding. Um, it's as well it's got its syndicate proc which again is always useful uh, the only downside to the Vaker Murloc uh, and any syndicate weapon really is that you have to be master rank 12 uh, that's the only downside I can see to the Vaker Murloc uh, as a secondary weapon it is really really strong and I recommend you guys have it in your collections uh, so that's my number four guys Spot number three, guys, I've gone for the Quanta Vandal. Um, this is one of my favourite weapons to use. Uh, it's one of the first I actually built, to be honest, and that I actually took seriously when I first started playing the game. Um, I put, I think, four former into this weapon. Uh, it deals out a lot of damage. It's pinpoint accurate because it's a laser beam weapon. Uh, as you can see from the gameplay footage, it's absolutely tearing through things. Uh, you feel like you're frying enemies when you when you hit it on them. Uh, has actually got an alternate fire as well that you press the mouse button in and it actually sends out like a cube of pretty much destruction and death which always comes in handy when you're surrounded by enemies uh, you get this uh, weapon through Barricade and I bought it for I can't remember how many Ducats it were but it weren't much but it's definitely worth it so I recommend you guys go ahead and build it get the weapon and enjoy it so that's my number three guys So in second place guys, I've gone for the Vaker Heck. You just knew it was going to appear in my top 5 weapons. It probably will appear in most people's top 5 weapons that play Warframe. It's just a powerhouse of a weapon. It's a critical base shotgun. It absolutely tears enemies to par apart. Um, it's got an 8, uh, eight slug clip, which really does come in handy when you're not always having to reload. Um, it's a syndicate weapon also, so it's got syndicate proc. Um, there, there's not many downsides to this um, weapon. It's got fairly good range as well. Uh, a lot of Warframe players joke that it's you don't need a sniper rifle when you've got a Vague Heck, but it's kind of true because it, its range is ridiculous. Um, but I would definitely say this is one of my most played weapons that I've ever used in the game. And if you get the weapon, you'll know why. So that's my second place, guys. 
So my top spot goes to the Dexberish guys. I absolutely love this weapon. Um, a lot of people might not agree with my top spot, but that's okay. Everyone's um, obviously has different favourites in the game. Uh, I'm cool with that. Mine is just the Dexberish. I love the semi-automatic mechanics of the weapon. I feel like a gunslinger when I use it. Uh, if built right, it can deal out a ton of damage, which I demonstrated in my build video against level 100 enemies. And as you can see from the gameplay footage there that recorded, it is absolutely turning through the enemies. Um, getting red crits quite often, um, and basically one-shotting uh, enemies in most situations. Um, there's not a lot of enemies that you're going to come across in the star chat that you can't one-shot with this weapon once you've built it right. So I highly recommend you get this weapon, build it and use it and I'm sure you'll fall in love with it just like me. Um, so yeah, that's my number one top spot guys. I uh, hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed my top five favourite weapons to use in Warframe. Um, please go ahead and check out my other videos. I've got numerous uh, Warframe build videos. Um, so yeah, I've, pu I've put the build for every weapon that I've done today just after um the video itself so you'll probably see them pop up only for a couple of seconds it's just so you can see that um what i've used and what mods i've put on the weapons so that's all for today guys peace out